we're tackling the problem longest substring without repeating characters. We're going to try and solve this with minimum complexities as shown. O n in time and O min m n in space. So we're given a string s and we need to find the length of the longest substring within s that does not contain any repeating characters. Your four methods for an optimal solution are a stack plus hash table b sliding window plus hash table c sliding window plus hash set or d two pointers. I'm going to pause for a couple of seconds while you make your choice. So for those of you who are able to get it, congratulations. And for those of you who just want to see the code, the answer here is sliding window plus hash table. That would be B in this instance. Our brute force approach is given by the hint button in our application. And we can solve this by iterating over all possible substrings of our given string and checking if any of them contain repeating characters. Of course, using two nested loops means our time complexity is O n cubed since we're iterating over all possible substrings. This isn't really viable if we're talking about larger inputs. Now, what would be viable? Let's take a walkthrough of the optimal solution. In this, we're using a sliding window technique and hash table. The sliding window here allows us to efficiently keep track of the current substring without repeating characters, while the hash table is helping to check for the presence of repeating characters and updating the window boundaries. To solidify understanding, I want to go through this line by line. First of all, we're declaring the unordered map char to index, and this will store the most recent index of each character encountered in the string s. sz is simply the size of the string s. Result is initialized to zero, and this is going to store the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. After that, we've got a for loop, and this has two pointers, start and end, initialized to zero. The loop iterates over the string s with the end pointer until it reaches the end of the string. The key line is line 8. In essence, this line checks if the current character, s end, is already present in the char to index map. If it is, it means the character is repeating in the current window. In that case, we update the start pointer and we update it to the maximum of its current value, which is start, and the next index of the repeating character plus one, as given by chart index s end plus one. After that, this line updates the chart index map with the current character s end and its corresponding index end. After that, the result line here is updating the length of the current substring without repeating characters by subtracting that start index from the end index and adding one. We update result to maximize between the result value previously found and end minus start plus one. Finally, after we've iterated through the string, we're returning whatever our result was. And this should represent the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. So I hope that that's one more problem solving session solved using coding card sharp. Just to check and confirm understanding, we have the problem longest substring without repeating characters, for which we can choose between two pointers, sliding window plus hash table, stack plus hash table, or sliding window plus hash set. 
all very similar answers, but the best of these is the sliding window plus hash table. The reason here is given. It's best to use a hash table rather than just using the two pointers. And if you need extra help with the code, you don't like C++ for example, we have it in Python and uh, the very similar Java code as well. So I hope that that's helped you and I'll finish by just pointing you in the direction of this Udemy course where Dr. Ibrahim offers a better technical explanation than I do and also a more visual explanation than the one that our app provides. In any case, thank you very much for watching and I hope that you are able to solve this in a real interview one day.